What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and I'm going to be talking about everything from the good to the bad uh, now that we've had about two weeks to play the game. So I want to start off with the bad about the game. Uh, obviously, everybody talks about the everything that they love about it when it first comes out. All these reviews are coming out right when the game drops, right before the game drops even, uh, and everyone's talking about everything that they enjoy about the game, which makes sense because it's the newest Call of Duty. Uh, everybody's really excited to play it, and um, you know everyone's just enjoying their time. Now, I want to talk about the bad first because I feel like a lot of the reviews that we've seen in the past week or two have been mostly positive reviews and I think it's important to talk about the things that aren't actually going well for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and then later in the video we'll talk about everything that I'm enjoying because I am really enjoying Black Ops 4. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually the the servers because everyone's talking about the 20 the, the 20 Hertz servers that we're playing uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on. Um, even Drifter made a video about this but everyone's kind of ignoring the fact that Treyarch already addressed this issue and they are already working on getting the servers back up to par with how they were in the beta and also with how they were for Call of Duty World War 2 and previous entries in the series. So if you guys didn't know, if you've somehow missed everything, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is currently running on 20 Hertz servers and the beta as well as Call of Duty World War 2 were running on 60 Hertz servers. Essentially what this means is that your game console is connecting to their server fewer times per second, which means you're going to be having a I guess you could say it's a bit of a choppy experience. Um, things happen so fast in Call of Duty where everything requires uh, millisecond reaction times. So if your console is communicating with the servers fewer times per second, there's a lot of things that are going to be missed in translation. And this is why sometimes it feels like you're getting shot even though you've already turned a corner or you know, you're know you missing uh, you're missing bullets even though you feel like you're spot on because the enemy uh, on their end has actually already jumped or slid or moved. But again, this is not a negative thing for me everyone's kind of complaining about it but again Treyarch already addressed this issue they said they're going to be working on the servers and the reason that they gave for decreasing them from the beta is because they wanted to ensure that the game functioned during launch weekend which makes sense to me because if you guys remember Call of Duty World War 2 on launch weekend you couldn't even play for hours at a time like the game was just offline you couldn't do it uh, and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 um, could not suffer the same fate because there is no longer a campaign they could not afford to have the game go down on launch weekend whereas something you know any other call of duty in the past if it goes down you can still play campaign you can still experience the game that you actually paid money for on launch weekend even if the servers went down for uh, you know brief periods of time but again with call of duty black ops 4 there's no campaign you had to play the game online it says it right on the box um they had no option but to make sure that the servers were stable during launch weekend and honestly it worked uh, the servers have been totally fine so now that the launch Launch weekend is over, double XP weekend is over. Uh, we're gonna start to see them working on these servers to get them back up and running, especially like with Blackout and stuff. You know, Blackout actually requires even more server space than any other Call of Duty in the past. So again, the, there's just a lot of a lot of reasons, a lot of really valid good reasons as to why uh, Treyarch had to make sure that they uh, had servers up globally um, for the last two weeks and you know I think that's a perfectly good reason so that's not one of the things that I'm gonna be talking about as as one of the bads but I did want to address it because it just seems like it's blown way out of way out of proportion um, especially because Treyarch addressed it before everybody started making their videos about it um, but anyway let's talk about some of the things that I think need to be fixed for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 the first one is spawns um, they've actually in their first hot fix uh, they actually talked about spawns for free-for-all and domination that they've been tweaking and and they have a long way to go uh, the spawns are really really bad for pretty much every single map but it's been really bad on the four remade maps um, I just don't think that those maps were they weren't thought through um, when porting from black ops 1 to black ops 4 you know even though they're both boots on the ground games black ops 4 plays way faster than black ops 1 even with the you know the 50 percent boost in health so yeah the, the spawns are really really bad on a lot of these maps i mean you can watch the korean savage uh, actually getting spawn trapping people in hardcore domination just getting you know 10 people feeds where he's barely even trying it's like it's absolutely insane um, so the, the spawns in general are 
broken pretty much on every single map um, I've watched people spawn right in front of me um, my you know especially in free for all like my average uh, the average amount of time that I spend alive is like seven seconds like you just as soon as you spawn you get a kill and you immediately die to someone who spawns right behind you like it's it's really really bad um, it's they really need to fix that because it's it's ruining the game honestly the next thing I want to talk about is gun balance uh, the the guns are completely out of whack right now the assault rifles are far better than everything else in the game um, even the swordfish which people initially thought was one of the best guns in the game turns out isn't very good compared to something like the ICR with grip one and two uh, it's just that they're super good people are shredding with the vapor and the Maddox and even people are liking the can um, and, and no one's really talking about the submachine guns right gun balance is all over the place and that's really unfortunate because it forces people to use maybe a gun type that isn't really appropriate like in a smaller map you would think that a submachine gun would be better and something like the GKS isn't that bad um, but you can still win gunfights close range with an ICR and it's really really confusing because you know it just seems like the guns are so unbalanced that they would have they should have seen that coming like like during even play testing like it should be clear that uh, that there are certain guns that are just obviously better and it seems like they didn't really do that so the gun balance needs to be fixed um, but for right now if you guys are going for dark matter uh, just do all the assault rifles because they're all pretty good right now um, so that'll make getting headshots and kills a lot easier because all the other guns in the game are relatively weak the next thing is kill streaks um, the kill streaks are way too expensive I mean you can get a five kill streak and you don't even have a UAV yet because it's 550 points and I think that's insane I mean you know thinking back to Modern Warfare 2 and back when Call of Duty really started to blow up. Uh, one of the big reasons for that is because of kill streaks. You know, it was something that Call of Duty did really well that no other game uh, on the scene or in the industry was doing. You know, getting these massive helicopters that you could pilot and just destroy people. Uh, that's kind of what Call of Duty was known for. And the past few years, they haven't delivered in that department, right? The, like, the, there's just either no good kill streaks or the kill streaks are so insanely difficult to get that you're realistically never going to get them on a regular basis right like and I'm not saying it's impossible to get a warship or anything like that it's totally possible and there's tons of people doing it but in terms of you know like consistently every game getting seven eight nine ten kill streaks it's just not gonna happen because again the gun balance is out of whack the spawns aren't very good um, it, it's just it, there's everything is stacking against you on top of the fact that it takes so many kills just to get some of these some of these kill streaks um, that, that it just it's insane so I think every single kill streak needs to be reduced by like 150 to 250 points uh, just that's just that's just how I feel I mean for what you're getting out of them I mean the UAV feels like it, it doesn't even last as soon as it goes up people shoot it down because people are going for their their camos on the on the only launcher in the game right so everything's getting shot down immediately um, counter UAV is actually completely countered by by I think tactical mask one of the perks that people use all the time completely counters counter UAV so there's no point in really even running that either so a lot of these kill streaks aren't very good especially for how many kills you have to get to get them and I understand that there's other ways to get points other than just straight kills like in previous Call of Duty's it, you you had to get a kill in order to earn uh, progress towards a kill streak whereas in this game if you capture an objective or if you get an assist point or something like that that all counts towards your kill streaks but it doesn't really add up in a game where you know it's primarily you're lone wolfing it is really what you're doing a lot of players are like that a lot of players are playing on their own and you're not going to be getting as many of those points as maybe they anticipate so you know it's not the same it's, it's far more difficult to get a UAV in this game and it's far less effective than it's been in previous Call of Duty so the kill streaks um, not very good I don't think they're very balanced I think it's too difficult to get them and when you do get them they're not very great um, I think the canine unit is one of uh, the specialist abilities and that is better than a lot of the different kill streaks in this game especially in something like free-for-all you can have a canine unit get five kills easily within like a, a minute uh, and that's something that you're just guaranteed to get you are given that for free uh, and it's that effective so yeah it seems like a lot of these specialists are better than the kill streaks and you're guaranteed them for free so it's it feels very weird another thing I want to talk about is create a class uh, create a class in this game is way better than it was in World War two um, they tried some new stuff with World War two so I'll give them credit for that um, but they completely dropped the ball the create a class was was guard uh, it's trash there's nothing that I, I can't say anything good about create a class in World War two so it's 
it's far better in black ops 4 but it still feels like there's not that many guns i mean there's only like what there's four snipers which is okay um there's a handful of assault rifles um a handful of submachine guns there's like what three shotguns or something two shotguns i don't even know um but it seems like each each class should have maybe one more gun uh in 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 that group right and i think they're probably going to release these in the uh supply stream or whatever you want to call it the black market but for right now it just feels like there's still not that many guns again there's more than world war ii but there's fewer guns than, than some of the previous Call of Duties, and it just feels weird to, you know, as we're progressing, they're putting less and less guns in the game. It's very odd, um, which, you know, I guess makes getting Dark Matter easier, but at the same time, it's like, I would rather there be more options, right? Because right now, there's like, I think there's six assault rifles, uh, and I think maybe three of them are really good um and those are the only three guns that pretty much anybody are using right i mean people are using the the icr mostly then you see sometimes the vapor sometimes the maddox and then maybe like the gks or maybe the sog like on occasion and that's pretty much all that you're seeing so you're only seeing like four guns total like throughout any given match but predominantly it's the icr uh and it just feels like there's not that many guns because again there are fewer guns in black ops 4 than something like modern warfare 2 if i can use that example again so they definitely i feel a little bit gypped uh in that department but it's not the end of the world uh, i just you know especially because i know there's more guns coming but i'd rather those guns be uh cosmetic only which i'm i have a bad feeling that they're not going to be but we'll we'll get to that we'll talk about that in a later video once we know a lot more about black market and the last thing i want to talk about is actually blackout um most of what i've actually everything i've talked about so far has been uh servers and multiplayer um i want to talk about blackout uh now real quick i haven't actually played zombies so far in black ops 4 zombies to me has never been like what draws me to call of duty um back in the day like in call of duty world of war black ops 1 and even like a little bit in black ops 2 zombies was really cool um but it for me it's kind of like guitar hero like <laughs> Like the originals were really good and i played the shit out of them and then the core gameplay didn't really change over time and now it's kind of just like eh, like i don't really care and i know that the easter eggs are like crazy and all this other stuff but like the core of zombies it's the the best zombies maps have already been made uh and they were made a long time ago in my opinion so that's why zombies isn't really a big deal to me but let's talk about blackout right and everyone's talking about blackout it took the gaming community by storm honestly people that never play call of duty are buying it just for blackout and that's amazing that's really really great um but for me as as actually and as a call of duty player right not as a battle royale player but as a call of duty player my biggest problem with blackout actually isn't isn't a, a call of duty problem it's actually a battle royale problem and that is that the it's, it's mostly boring uh and i know that sounds weird because it's like a survival of the fittest you know every man for themselves but in such a big map that really rewards camping and you know again drifter made a video about this where you know you're actually at a disadvantage if you get into a lot of gunfights because you have fewer armor fewer bullets um you, you have less uh, trauma kits things like that you're actually it, blackout promotes camping on a massive map and because of that there's so much downtime in between actions in between gunfights uh and unlike you know fortnite you, where you know as you're running out of, away from the circle you can um build things you can collect things you can you know collect materials there's nothing to really do in blackout running away from the circle there's no materials to collect you don't have to build anything you're just running away and you're trying to not be seen by somebody with a sniper um vehicles are cool but you know regardless there's a lot of downtime in blackout and that's my biggest problem with it and again that's not really a call of duty problem that's really just a battle royale problem which is why i'm like it, it's weird how big that genre has blown up considering how much of the time you're literally just not engaging with other players like you're like you're you're just surviving and, and all that means is like hiding or running away or you know traveling from point a to point b with not much to do in between so that's my biggest problem with blackout is like the reason that i haven't been playing it is because there's a lot of downtime and it's very boring um and like you know not to say that if you don't if you have a if like if you get a group of four people like yeah it can be really fun um but for the most part if you're playing alone blackout is incredibly boring and that's the biggest problem with that but you know 
maybe i'm wrong i don't know that's just my take on it so far maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more as time goes on but so far that's my been that's been my experience with with black ops let's talk about the good right because we're pretty far into this video i want to talk about the things that black ops 4 does well because i actually really enjoy black ops 4 i'm enjoying it far better than i have the past few call of duties so let's talk about things that i actually like now self-healing um is it actually worked out really well and i was really you know unsure how this was going to go but it feels very natural now and it adds a layer of depth of depth to the game where you're not sure you know if you get into a gunfight and you're at half health and you've used half your ammo you now have to decide am i going to heal or am i going to reload which comes first and you know that's something that good players are going to do well you know making that judgment call and bad players are going to fail at and uh, i think that's you know anything that adds an extra layer of skill or adding to that skill gap is good because call of duty is generally a low skill gap game i mean you know you get you get specialists for free uh you know it, a lot of it is based on spawns and things like that you can even bad players can get kills every single game right um whereas that's not the case for a lot of other games you know some games like uh, league of legends or fortnite or something like that if you've never played it before the odds of you getting a kill um on your first time playing aren't very high uh, but in call of duty it's pretty much guaranteed so i mean that's one thing so adding to that skill gap is good self-healing works i like being able to heal um, myself because it, it happens faster than waiting for for uh, your health to regenerate like in previous call of duties so overall that was a good decision um the next thing is is the the flow of the game the game flows really really well um there's no double jumping there's no any wall running or anything like that which i'm incredibly grateful for because that was super super annoying in black ops 3 and in infinite warfare i i really just wasn't a fan of uh of, of that movement system so i'm really glad that we're back to boots on the ground but it's a faster boots on the ground it's faster than previous call of duties you know if you go back to modern warfare 2 or something this game is a bit more fast paced you move faster you can slide around the map faster you can jump really high honestly if you've tried you can mantle over some really tall walls in this game which is really interesting things that i i never would have noticed if i didn't see other players doing it, it they're like you can really jump pretty high um so the game flows really well um i think the map design is is designed pretty good as well in terms of um <clears throat> not being so cookie cutter like they were in uh in infinite warfare you know infinite warfare had some of the worst like the least memorable least fun maps i've ever seen in a call of duty um that was world that was infinite warfare so yeah i'm really excited for the maps that we have in this game they're a bit more vibrant they're uh, a bit more diverse there's more head glitch opportunities there's more power points um and again there's only 10 original maps with four remakes so that's only one more map than than world war ii shipped with i mean world war ii shipped with nine we got 10 original maps and then four remakes again the four remakes they need some work in terms of spawns and adapting to a faster game but replaying some old maps actually isn't that bad um they feel kind of new um even though they're familiar they still play differently than they used to at least in many different game modes and and then there's also new game modes to play like control and things like that where you know you adding a new a new layer of experience to an old map and i think that that works really well so even though there's only 10 original maps you do get 14 maps with the game and they are decent maps they have enough of variety and again like i said variety power points um and and different routes and ways to navigate the map as opposed to super boring super cookie cutter three lane maps like we saw in infinite warfare there's also really good camos which i think is important right i think having good camos in a call of duty is really important because it gives players something to work towards and i think if the camos are terrible like they were in world war ii uh, you get a lot of people not willing to try and get the top tier camos right like i got dark matter in black ops 3 because it was incredible it was a really cool camo the game was fun to play and i wanted to show how much i enjoyed it by really grinding towards that that top tier camo and i was able to do it relatively quickly infinite warfare the camos were not very good world war ii the camos were atrocious in my opinion I, there was not a single good camo in that game that i can remember um, but the camos are good in this game especially the gold camo diamond camo dark matter all the other ones that actually the reactive camos you know they're really really cool um and having like a, a a rainbow diamond pattern is just incredible so they did a really good job with the camos which is good because i think that adds to the longevity of the game and it gives something uh for players to actually work towards especially 
specialists are another thing I want to talk about. They do feel relatively balanced, at least from my perspective. Um, it seems like there's a time and a place and a play style for every single specialist. Obviously, certain specialists will dominate certain game types. Like playing Torque on Search and Destroy probably isn't the best bet. Uh, so yeah, it adds another layer of strategy, and I do think that they're relatively balanced. So I think that they did that well. I actually enjoy the specialists better than I did in Black Ops 3 because I think a lot of this like like the scythe in Black Ops 3 was just insane like you got this ridiculously powerful minigun for free every single game sometimes two times a game you know things like uh, fire break in that game where you had the you, you know the, in this game it's the radiation field but in Black Ops 3 it was the the pure fire like uh, not the pure fire the um, I don't remember what it was called but you would actually just it was an instant like burn stun everybody in your radius uh, that was really powerful you had battery that was super powerful with the kinetic armor so I think that the the specialists in this game are a little bit more balanced I mean I still get frustrated frustrated when I see Ajax running at me with his riot shield because um, that's a little bit difficult to counter for sure depending on like where you are if it's a closed off space you're pretty much dead but in general I think they did a pretty good job with the specialists and finally for the good uh, the game feels fun and rewarding when you're playing it and that's not something that I could say for something like Call of Duty World War 2 where it felt very uh, roll of the dice RNG where you know you get into a gunfight and it's it's just like it's it's up in the air who's gonna win that gunfight who knows like this is definitely the case for infinite warfare as well I just didn't feel like the gunfights were really based on skill um, a lot of the reason for that is because there weren't many head glitching uh, spots there weren't many power positions you know you couldn't really plan out uh, an engagement to go in your favor really in those games what determined whether or not you were going to win a gunfight was either like reaction time like millisecond reaction time or connect connection like how good your connection actually is and you know that doesn't really make for a good experience because when you're a player who's actually good at Call of Duty and then getting into gunfights where most of the outcome is based on on those two things which are relatively random I mean yes reaction time is is I guess you could say a skill but it's not really uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with like a gun skill or decision making or anything like that or like understanding your awareness of where the enemies are or like where you are on the map like it has nothing to do with that it's just a quick twitch reaction and that has really nothing to do with skill um, so that's that's not really the case in this game which is good because like like I said the past two Call of Duties that's what has that's what it's felt like uh, it's felt like you know you were rewarded sometimes randomly like you would just sometimes win gunfights just because you just you know reacted a, a quick second sooner or you turn the corner first or whatever but in this game you can actually plan out your way around the map you can actually set up in power positions and actually try and hold down some key spots on the map and maybe spawn trap even I feel rewarded for actually being a good player in this game which is not something I could say for the past two Call of Duties and that actually reminded me of one more thing that I want us to talk about in terms of things that I, I haven't been enjoying and that is connection um, even though the servers have been fine again the uptime has been good i haven't had any experience with like any bad experience with the servers this feels like a game that is based on your connection way more than previous call of Duty's. like i went from a wireless connection to a wired connection and immediately saw my kd jump like half a point right like it went from like i was getting anywhere from 1.4 to 1.6 kd every game to like 2.0 and higher every game just by having a wired connection which should never be the case right that should never be the case in a call of duty i mean yes connection is always always been an issue like you have to have a good connection to do well but this game it's like it's like it is paramount to have a good connection if you don't have a good connection you'll probably go negative every single game regardless um, even if you play slower no matter what you do you'll do badly and I don't think that was always the case uh, in Call of Duty just like I can vividly remember having poor connections in games like Modern Warfare 2 Modern Warfare 3 but if I played slow and played defensive and really you know honed in on my interactions I could still do well um, and that's not the case for this game so people with a poor connection are probably gonna be way more frustrated with this game than than the majority of youtubers right and I think that's important to talk about because you know you'll see people just absolutely slaying on this game and then you jump on and you have a completely different experience and it's because they have like a gigabyte you know Ethernet speed like their, their their speeds are top tier best in the world whereas you know you live in the middle of nowhere and your internet speeds are you know you know five down and five up or something you know so like it's important to talk about that I think 
that that's that's a big problem especially with there being extra health in the game um, so that's just another thing i wanted to touch on anyway that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this is now new york i will talk to you guys again soon peace